How's it going, everybody? It's me, it's your friend, it's the Commentator, and welcome to a brand new series. This is Splatoon 2 Hero Mode. So, since my first uh, series of Splatoon, the normal Splatoon on Nintendo Wii U, we were the Inkling Girl, what do you say for Splatoon 2, we're gonna be the Inkling Boy? What color should we pick a skin tone? I think I'm gonna go with this one right here. Oh, uh, I believe my, my eyes are actually hazel, so I think I'm gonna go with... I'll go with this one right here. And then hairstyle, ooh. What shall I go with? I like this look right here. And then pants? Uh, legwear, I should say. I like the look of these, so let's go. Actually, no, those look really stupid. Let's just go with these. Are you cool with this? You can totally change it later if you want to. Hell yeah, let's go! Think you're co too cool for school? Well, it's time to prove it in battle. You're looking a little green, though. Let's start with the basics. So, aim at the balloon, target the balloon with a reticle using motion controls. And then, face forward for the clearest view. Press Y to return this view to any time. So basically, if we were to use motion controls like this and the camera's in a very awkward spot, all you have to do is press the Y button and it'll center it. So, uh, shoot with ZR. Actually, it's in a very awkward spot for me right now, so I'm going to do this. Tilt with ZR. Tilt the controller to aim. Or shoot with ZR, not tilt with ZR. So what you want to do is you want to shoot these balloons really quick, and then you get to move with the L button right here. And if you repress the ZL button right here, you can turn it into the squid form, which is going to tell us anyway here in the future. I'm just getting a little ahead of myself because, well, I know how to play the game. Gosh darn it, I've been playing this game since freaking May. Not just May, I've actually been playing this game since it first came out, but I quit playing Splatoon for about a few years. I got this game back in 2017 when it first came out, but I quit playing and I didn't pick it up until, well, May of this year. Surprisingly, this year being 2021. Reset the camera with Y, hold the controller in a comfy position and, position and press Y. Well, I didn't really know how to talk right there, apparently. Get the balloon, please, and thank you very much. Turn into a squid with ZL. You can swim in ink as well as a squid. So, one thing I want to mention is, before we actually move on any further, as you can see right there, we have an ink tank on our back, and every time we fire, it consumes ink. However, if we were to go into squid form and go into ink, it actually refills our ink tank right there. Wow, we didn't actually go through a lot of ink, even though I felt like we went through a lot of ink. And yes, if you ink a wall right here, and you go into squid form, you can climb off the walls. And if you press the B button, as I will showcase here, you can even swim up walls. You can refill your tank quickly while you swim. If you spray a wall right here and you climb up a wall in ink form and you press the B button, it actually moves it a little faster or moves your character a little faster. And even in squid form, you can jump. And there are areas that we are unable to ink, as you can see right here, but it's actually not quite necessary. Over here, see this gate right here? Believe it or not, even in... Uh, you can't go through it in inkling form, however, you can go through it in squid form. As weird as it sounds, it looks like it should absolutely just, you know, slice us up right there, but it doesn't... Hey, little guy, how you doing up there? Are you having a good day? I'm having a good day. Now, as you see right here, we have pink ink and we are green. Use ZR to cover enemy ink with your color. You'll get slowed in ink that's not your color. We are green, this is pink. As you can see right here, we can we can barely move. And, and if you were trying to go into uh, squid form, you wouldn't be able to because it's not your color. So, to prevent that, you have to ink the enemy ink over here. That way you can actually swim through it. These crates over here don't contain anything important. This is basically a tutorial area, so there are no secrets to find here. Maybe there are Easter eggs, I'm not entirely sure. Throw bombs with R. Swim with ZL to refill your tank. So, you see that little gauge right there on our ink tank? That, I believe that's how much ink our bomb will take. So, if we throw a bomb right now, that took a lot of our ink out of our tank right there. So, what you want to do is... After you throw a bomb, make sure you instantly refill your tank because you'll be out of ink before you know it if you start spraying. Shoot ink and climb up the wall. Jump with B to climb faster. I believe the tutorial is almost over, actually. Just up this hill right here, we're going to make our way to Inkopolis Square. All right, that's enough warming up. Press ZL to super jump. You can't actually super jump right now, but you can super jump in this little launch pad right here. Welcome everybody to my brand new series on Splatoon 2 Hero Mode.
Y'all know what time it is? It's Off The Hook, coming at you live from Inkopolis Square. Check it! Here are the current regular battle stages. We have Arowana Mall. We have Camp Triggerfish. Check it! This campground's got a zero tolerance policy on littering. This message brought to you by Off The Hook Defenders of Nature. And these are the current ranked battle stages. Ooh, Clam Blitz, nice. Starfish main stage, nice. This place is super tropical. I feel like I'm on vacation whenever I battle here. And it's just a short train ride from Inkopolis Square. Here are the league battle stages. Rainmaker, nice. Did you see that Krusty Sean opened a shop in the food court here? Please tell me he takes cash. I'm all out of tickets. I cook salmonids all day, but Mr. Grizz keeps crying about eggs or whatever. Pearl, did you even read the Grizz Cove training manual? Uh, why is our producer freaking out? Read the teleprompter prompter mar- Ugh, come on, Tage. Marnia? Huh? Let's see here. This is just in! The great Zatfish has disappeared? Wait, like, for reals? I feel like I've heard this story somewhere before. Me too. There's more! Pop Superstar Callie of the Squid Sisters has gone missing! Oh no! No! Not Callie! This is terrible! Do something, Marnia! Or, uh, okay, I'll put together a search party. Whatever, I'm sure they'll turn up at some point. In other news, way to be optimistic, Pearl. But shouldn't we form a search party or something? Let's try a little something new today! I call it Inkopolis Fashion Focus! Uh, Pearl, what are you doing? I don't see this on the script. Relax, we're just gonna spotlight some fresh new styles around Inkopolis. Pearl, did you even run this by our producer? Nope! Let's dive right into this first feature. All the cool squid kids in town seem to be sporting these weird hairstyles lately. Squid kids? Oh, um, right. At this rate, it's only a matter of time before this thing is a full-on fad. Although I feel like I've never seen these weird hairstyles. Although I feel like I've seen these weird hairstyles somewhere before. Alright, Pearl, I'm getting word that we're out of time for this segment. Ugh, fine. Be sure to tune in next time for more Inkopolis Fashion Focus. And when exactly is next time going to be? Eh, pretty sure we peaked on that one, so probably never. And that's all the time we've got today, or that's all the time we've got. Until next time, don't get cooked, stay off the hook! Welcome to Inkopolis Square, the new nerve center of inkling culture. That's Decca Tower there in front of you, one of the tallest buildings in all of Inkopolis. There's a lobby on the first floor of Decca Tower for online battles. Over here, we've got the Galler Galleria, Inkopolis and Inkopolis' most popular shopping center. Here you can buy the freshest gear and weapons to use in battle. But the shops are pretty exclusive and they won't serve you if you're not fresh enough. So, if you want to buy any sort of equipment, I believe you need to be at least level 4. And if you want to buy new weapons, you need to be at least level 2. Uh, what else? Oh, that creepy shop back there? Rumor has it they're hiring for some sketchy job. Might want to think twice before you apply there, unless you really need dough. That brings us to the Shoal, the coolest hangout spot in all of Ingopolis. That's where Inkling's going to meet up with nearby friends for both competitive and cooperative play. And next we have... Huh? Who's that mysterious squid back there? It almost looks like... No, she never hang out in a place like this, and those clothes. Yeah, it must be someone else. Uh, is it just me, or does that alleyway seem a little fishy? Yeah, definitely something fishy going on over there. Probably best to ignore it. Anyway, you should check out the lobby of Decca Tower. That's where you can get your splat on. 
Now, if you actually want to be able to do online play with Splatoon, you actually need to have Nintendo membership or Nintendo online membership. So, since I don't have Nintendo online membership with this account in particular, we will be unable to do online battles. However, I will be showcasing some of the online battles, some of the different uh, game modes, but I will be doing so on my actual account, not my, not this account, because I don't want to pay for Nintendo online for uh, this account. With that being said, what do you say we open up this box right here? You got the Splatfest T replica. You can now use it in multiplayer battles. This is a piece of equipment right here. And we also got the Octo Layered LS. You got, I'm assuming that means, I don't know what LS actually stands for to be perfectly honest with you. And we got Studio Octophones, nice. So even without buying anything, we already have a few pieces of equipment. We got two shirts and we got a headset. Over here, this is where we'll actually begin the uh, hero mode. Over here, over there is Salmon Run. That's another online feature. And as I said, Decca Tower is where all the online multiple uh, battle play battles take place. This little guy over here, he's actually very important if you are playing online multiplayer. I don't remember I don't remember his name quite off the bat, but I don't feel like talking to him just yet. Over here, this is where the DLC of Splatoon 2 actually takes place. This will be the Octo Expansion. However, we're not going to do the Octo Expansion until Hero Mode is complete, so it's going to be a while before we go over there. I do plan on going for... You know what, I'll explain all of that in the next episode. So, thank you everybody for joining me here on the very first episode, or the introduction episode of Splatoon 2. Next time on Splatoon 2, we're gonna make our way inside this little hole here that that one squid who looks exactly like Marie went into. Maybe it is Marie, maybe it's not. Find out next time. I'll see you guys later, and don't forget, you gotta stay fresh. Or should I say don't get cooked, stay off the hook for this series? Hmm... I'll think about it, and you guys will hear my outro next time. Later, everybody!